Hey guys, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. It is a Sunday evening here in the Lima Bean household. We just got home from a birthday party and our house is a mess. I really wanna try my best to get everything like in its place and ready for the week ahead. So come and join along as we do a little weekly reset. I'm gonna hold off on tidying up everything here because the kids are still awake. They are in the bath, taking a bath, Juan's watching them, but I have a feeling that things will still kind of get messy. So I'm gonna hold off to do that until I've tackled some other tasks. But the first thing that I'm gonna do is gonna try to tackle some laundry and get that started since it's early enough in the evening where I can get maybe a load or two in. Things are a little jammed in here because of our freeze dryer, but I have to say it's worth it. I love having my freeze dryer. <laughs> One of my favorite parts. <laughs> oh Apparently this makes really good like fire starter. So it's worth saving if you light fires or do bonfires or something. Okay, but that is ready for our load that I just started in the washer. I will get to folding those clothes probably once the kids go to bed so I can like watch a show that I want to watch and not what they want to watch. So this will hold off, but at least the dryer is open for this load. And then speaking of the freeze dryer, I had Juan take out the trays because I did raw eggs in here recently. And it's recommended, I guess, that when you deal with raw eggs, you, you know, give the inside of the barrel a nice clean. But this is what the inside of the freeze dryer looks like. And then the trays just connect to this cord. And there is this other little piece up here that we use. But I'm gonna wipe the trays and this barrel down with some nice soapy water and check back in in a bit. Okay, so now that this is somewhat dry, I'm gonna let this air dry a little bit more and then let Juan put this back in the freeze dryer. And now I'm gonna move on to cooking up some pork that I'm gonna use to make some pork barbecue. I actually prepped the carrots and celery for it in a previous video, so make sure to check that one out. I will link that up above. And once I get that on the stove, it's just gonna be like in a pot with some water and I'm gonna start letting it cook and boil or whatever. Then I will start to kind of clean up around here, get the counters at least wiped down and maybe mop the floors before doing some more like deep tidying. So I have a video of this recipe, pork barbecue, on my channel. And it's interesting to see like the price difference from when we filmed it. It was, I think, like $1.99 a pound. And now it's a whole dollar more, which is crazy. I mean, it's not crazy. We're living in some crazy times and it used to be a lot better. But hopefully things will improve in the coming years. But this was the first time that I actually went shopping for pork butt or shoulder. So that was an experience but I just got this big piece and we're gonna let it boil in this water. And I believe we're gonna cook it until 145. That was the setting for pork. And then it will get cooked a little bit more with the other ingredients. So as long as it's cooked to 145, we should be good. Okay, it's in there. Let's shove this thermometer in, hopefully to the center of the meat. <laughs> and I'm gonna let it do its thing. You can go ahead and I guess set the temperature up there and Hopefully this will be cooked within like two hours. That way I can get to bed at a reasonable time. So what I think I'm gonna do now, I'm feeling overwhelmed by all the stuff on my counters. 
Some things I know have a spot in the house and I will definitely put them away, but other things I just don't have like the mental capacity to sort through it right now. So what I think I'm going to do because I want to wipe my counters down and then mop my kitchen is if I don't know where it goes and I don't wanna think about it right now, I'm just gonna throw it on the kitchen table because that has a dirty carpet underneath it, which I'll either hopefully vacuum tonight or get to tomorrow. Sorry, the kids are loud in the bathtub, they're having fun. But, you know, I'm gonna like move the mess if I can't figure out right now where it needs to go and I will deal with it later. But right now I really wanna get my kitchen in order so that I can also maybe cut up a watermelon, uh, prep that for the week and then eat, maybe also cook some chicken for Juan so that he has some either extra protein for the week or has something else to enjoy tonight. So let's go ahead and organize this kitchen. You do not have to be good Even the best of us have been misunderstood So get up under your feet The sun is shining, repentance through the leaves. Its rays will wash you clean. I'm walking slowly, I'm taking my time. All I like of talking is starting to run. Just can't get enough of this beautiful life. I just can't get enough of this beautiful life. You do not have to be known. of us have sometimes felt alone this whole world is your home so reach out your branches lay your roots back to the soil and watch the rain help you go I'm walking slowly I'm taking my time Okay, so we got the counters mostly clean. There are a lot of eggs that have been piling up, so I'm gonna wash these and put them away. I do have a bunch of stuff I need to go through, so I will probably go through this when the kids come out and watch a movie to wrap up the evening. And then I also need to cut this guy up. But before I get to any of that, the laundry has finished that load, so I'm gonna transfer it and probably get another load started because it's gonna be a somewhat long night. And then we'll get to washing our eggs. Climbed the mountains in Montana Danced in the lights of New Orleans Portland ran away with me And San Francisco stayed with me Nashville made its way in between Fell in love in Minnesota and Fell apart south of Salt Lake Some things never change But I wanna know How it feels to hang pictures On a wall Sleep in the same bed At night I want reasons to stay I want someone to take Up my time To miss me when I go 
So after I set aside two dozen eggs just to keep in the fridge for baking or just, you know, having scrambled eggs in the future, we did have some extra left over. So I decided I would hard boil some of them and then move on to making some chicken for Juan. Now, because I was using my little meat thermometer with my pork on the stove, I didn't use it here, but typically I shove that into one of the chicken breasts right in the middle of the thickest part, and then I let it cook in the air fryer until it reads 165 degrees. So I don't really have like a set time that I leave this meat in the air fryer. I just let it go for, you know, I set it at 20 minutes, but it never cooks that long. So on this night, I just kind of had to check on it at different intervals just to make sure that it didn't get too dark. But Juan does like his chicken kind of crispy or as he calls it burnt. So I kind of figured like there's there's definitely wiggle room and it will still please him in the end. And if you haven't seen some of my other videos where I hard boil eggs or if you've just kind of forgotten my method and want to know what I do, I actually really like using baking soda in my boiling water and I kind of just do two heat heaping tablespoonfuls when I'm using such a big pot. And then I put my eggs into the boiling water and let them cook for exactly 17 minutes and then immediately transfer them to an ice bath. And when I do that method, I rarely have an egg that is difficult to peel. And fresh eggs, since you know these are coming from our chickens and they're just maybe like a couple days old, maybe even I picked them up that day, fresh eggs are known to be very difficult to peel and these ones peel just fine. So if you are still looking for the method on how to hard boil eggs, definitely give this one a try. It's worked for me, but I recognize different altitudes and you know, just in general, everything kind of varies per household and stove or whatever, but give it a try. Let me know down below in the comments if this works for you. I really haven't had to try like any other method because this works great for us. So when I dumped the hard boiled eggs into the ice bath, typically I use a different bowl and you know, just this night it was a little different. So I dumped them into the ice bath. Some of the eggs cracked. So I figured I would peel those and just either give them to my kids just for a late night snack because they were, they're always hungry whenever they see me working with food. And then the rest of them I just put in a little container and then put the non-cracked eggs in the fridge. And you can see I'm collecting the eggshells here. What I actually do once I get enough of them is I bake the eggshells in the oven, probably like at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. And then I crumble them all up and actually feed them back to the chickens. This is a way that the chickens can get extra calcium from the shells that they've already produced and help make sure that the eggshells that they're going to produce are also nice and strong. So nothing goes to waste over here. I just can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one. No one likes being like to. You made this mess and left me with the pieces. Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us
So previously in the video, I hypothesized the kids would watch a movie and I would go through all of this stuff on my kitchen table. Well, the kids never actually watched a movie. Juan ended up putting them to bed and I just kept working hard in the kitchen and living space. By this time, my pork was fully cooked, so I let it cool down a little bit before I cut it up into tiny little cubes and throwing that in a Ziploc bag. I will be using this meat in an upcoming video to actually make the pork barbecue, kind of like an afternoon in the life video, so stay tuned for that. But if you just want to have the straightforward recipe video, I will also link that above so you can go ahead and just kind of see very quickly how this delicious meal will be made. guys so just checking in it is pretty late i got pretty much everything i wanted to done in the kitchen it is nice and clean now and the only thing i have left to do is fold some laundry so i'm gonna wrap up today's video by doing that i would like to thank you guys for watching today's video and if you liked it go ahead and hit that thumbs up button that really helps me out and if you are new here i would love it if you stick around and subscribe and check out all of my motherhood content and I will catch you in the next one. I hope you guys have an awesome day. Woohoo! You've made it to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.